Well, Bob, I want to congratulate you for being selected into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. It's quite an honor. Thank you, Al. I'm going to ask you a few questions about your career and background, so bear with me. Okay. First is, uh, what individual had, its, had the greatest impact on your career? I had a lot of coaches that had great impacts on my career, but when I think of this question, uh, you know, more, more of my life, it was probably my first wife who had the biggest impact on my career. Um, coming out of Chico State, I was a little uh, young and wild and kind of carefree, and she kind of helped keep me focused, and she, you know, drove me to get into the teaching credential program. Um, you know, got my degree in math and then got hired as a teaching job in Orland. And so she was definitely the person and she was a you know, mother of my kids and brought all the kids to all the wrestling matches and so forth. So she made actually coaching much easier for me just because she was so supportive. Who was your wrestling hero or idol growing up? Uh, you know, I could say Dan Gable, Kenny Monday, but, you know, that's all because they were such great wrestlers and, you know, the list could go on and on. But really my idol would probably be my high school coach, uh, Jerry Bonner. So I wrestled for Orland High School and he would, you know, he kind of started me in wrestling. He would take me to freestyle tournaments on the weekends with a group of kids. We'd start at 9 in the morning, finish at 9 at night, um, traveling all over the place. Um, when I first started, I was only, you know, 100 pounds. So I was a pretty small, you know, athlete. Yeah. And one of the things that he would always say to me is, you know, Reinhardt, the only thing these guys have on you is maturity, and you're going to get them someday. <laughs> so he was, he was a huge influence on me. That's great. Uh, Bob, what personal attribute or characteristic most contributed the most to your success in wrestling? I think because I hate to lose. <laughs> I really do. I, I'm competitive. I have been from, you know, a little kid. It doesn't matter if it was sports or if it was games, uh, anything like that. I hate to lose. I, you know, I, I can get through a loss okay, yeah. but the biggest thing is I want to learn from a loss. Yeah. And I think that was one of the biggest things I did in wrestling is every time I had a match that I lost, I would always look back at that match and see, you know, what could I have done different? You know, what, what could I have improved on? So uh, I think just that fact that when I was behind in a match, I would pick up the pace and I would just push and push and push until I'm ahead again. Wow. And then I'd kind of cruise a little bit. But as long as I was behind, I was going, you know, 100% the whole time. Right. And so, yeah, I think just that, that I hated to lose and loved winning. Wow. Throughout your career, what is the single most memorable event or match? I would say my sophomore year in uh, junior college when I ended up in the state finals. Um, my freshman year I had a 17 and 15 record. Actually the first time I ever had a winning record. I never had a winning record in high school. Um, but my sophomore year in junior college I ended up going 35 and 5, won several tournaments and all of a sudden here I am on the stand and the big spotlight hits me and I realize that you know I'm in the state finals. <laughs> And it's like, what am I doing here? Yeah. So I think at that time it really opened my eyes that I had, you know, stepped to a different level. And so that, for me, was the biggest match. Uh, place in the nationals for Chico State, you know, both those years. Those were those were great years. But I think that first time uh, being in the state finals was wow. a big one for me. What well, what made you get involved in in wrestling? Well, I actually tried out for football when I was an eighth grader and you had to weigh 100 pounds or you get cut. And I just remember our football coach coming by, you know, Reinhardt, what do you weigh? And I'd be, 90 pounds, sir. He'd go, you better put some weight on. Well, my parents tried to fatten me up and I never could gain any weight. Yeah. And then, you know, finally, as a sophomore, that's when I actually started wrestling, I went out for football then. And I was still, you know, right around 100 pounds. 
and the only time I got to play football was when the team was 40 points ahead. Then they'd say, "Hey, let's yeah. put Reinhardt in." You know, that. <laughs> then they'd put yeah. me in at line. I was a defensive yeah. back. They'd put me in as a lineman. So finally, when wrestling came around, it's kind of like that was the sport you could be small and have some success yeah. in. So yeah, I I loved wrestling. You know, I was one of those kids that always wrestled with a smile on my face. You know, win, win yeah. or lose, I had a good time. If you had the opportunity to do your career over again, is there anything you'd change? Uh, I wish I would have had a little more self-confidence when I first began. You know, I, I think I didn't picture myself, you know, winning. And I, I think if you're going to be successful, you actually have to have a, that mental attitude yeah. and be able to visualize yourself on the award stand. And it, it took quite a while in my career. Like I said, in high school, I never had a winning record. I you know, won about half of my matches and stuff. Didn't really place in many tournaments. But then all of a sudden, you know, with all the extra time and effort that I put in freestyle and wrestling any chance I could get and when a room was open, uh, I started having some success. And that self-confidence, I think, made a big difference. Bob, and when it's all over and said, done your career I, I I assume you're still involved to some degree yeah okay. <laughs> they they still bring me back it's yeah. kind of like oh we don't have enough coaches to drive yeah. this weekend could you could you drive uh, the you know kids what, to the tournament what would you like people to remember about you well I think both the kids that you know I taught while I was teaching and the kids that I coached in wrestling I, I would like them to really know that it, I cared about them and that I you know, I, I wanted to see them grow into you know fine adults and so forth. Um, I'm lucky I live in a, a small town, and anytime I go out to the grocery store or anything like that, you know, I run into parents and I run into athletes that I coached, and you know, pretty much everybody calls me Coach Reinhardt. You know, when I'm walking around town, and it's it's just a nice feeling. So yeah, I uh, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, I had the opportunity to watch you wrestle. You caused me a lot of problems. <laughs> but you always carried yourself as a gentleman. Uh, I really respected that about you, uh, you know. Well, I you're really quite appreciate a, that. Yeah, Thank you. Quite an athlete. Yeah. Well, congratulations well, I def again. I definitely enjoyed my wrestling career. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Congratulations for being selected into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. It's quite an honor. Uh,